Okay guys, quick update here, just to confirm that large object going across on the GOES-16 satellite. Well, we saw it go across this morning on the North and South America side of the Earth. Now we can see, flip the Earth, stand to reason, it's going to go across. <laughs> Excuse me, that side too. And sure enough, here she blows. They got it all pixelated out now, all blacked out. Sliding across. Now, there's no telling exactly how close that is relative to between the GOES 16 satellite or the Himwari. I got the Himwari 8 up now. Guess it's similar. It's similar to the GOES 16 and 17. And I believe GOES stands for Geosynchronous Orbit Earth. Something else. I just do Googled it to see what the heck GOES stood for. Geostationary Operational Environmental Satellite. So there you go. So basically it's up there in the geosynchronous orbit. 22,236 or 38 miles above the Earth. And it's photographing the Earth and giving us all the weather as well. This is just one of the uh, many different overlays you can put. I've often featured the uh, water vapor bands, the 10, 9, and 8. Mostly the 10, that's the lower level. But uh, anyway, so there it is on the opposite side of the Earth. Same deal. Large object going across the uh, bottom of the planet. So like I said, no telling exactly how close that is relative to the satellite or the Earth. So we really can't determine how big it is. But... Uh, Anyway, it's there. Here's another update for uh, on the geospace pressure equilibrium. It's still going on, guys. Here it is, the latest run. Three hour, three hour, 30 minute run. Let's see when it started. So it starts around 1848, 1845, so that's like 145 Eastern Daylight Time today, and it runs about, like I said, three and a half hours. Yeah, see? So anyway, yeah, this is on the uh, SWMF government website Space Weather Prediction Center SWMF Geospace Model I believe they're taking the data from the uh, GOES satellites which are operating like I showed you on geostationary orbit circling the planet at 22,236 miles so there you have these pressure so we got almost equal solar wind pressure coming from behind. It's coming from the front, indicated by the, the nullification of both and bringing the pressure down all pretty close to zero everywhere. This is the north-south Z-cut looking down on the planet. This is the equatorial plane cut looking across from uh, side view at the magnetosphere which in the, it's a cut plane so it's like a slice as you would see in an MRI I believe so just picture looking across the planet and then them slicing a slice out of the middle right by the earth and uh, then we're seeing it 
same deal with here on the uh, up down up down look and there it is here on the iswa they just have the planet flipped on different sides sun sides on the right here and it's on the left on that geospace model i looked at this real quick uh, it's not terribly Not notable other than I mean there's still a lot of crazy stuff going on you see all the backside pressure here's the folk radiation belts these two are sync you can see the planet still being bathed with electrons you get all this backside pressure here I didn't find any big chunks of missing time on this run there's the uh, polar cap black field lines Whenever the pressure gets too big behind the Earth, they become closed and loop back and gain some power from the Earth. And then they expel the pressure and all the plasma that's built up behind the Earth, or they try to anyway. And then you can see it shooting out here. Let's see what happened there. Four. Okay, yeah, so there I thought there might be some missing time there, but I didn't see any. Get this back synced up again. 840. Okay. It's usually when you see a big expulsion like that, sometimes there's some missing time in front of it. But this is all heavy duty, serious plasma energy, this blue stuff. You can look at the solar wind arrows. We've got a whole bunch of them facing the planet. So that means there's a solar body back here. Nemesis, which emits mostly electrons, which are being recorded here and here. And it shows up on the planet with a lot of lightning too, extra lightning. And uh, I think even maybe the purple skies we've been seeing. Somebody posted something on Strange Sounds it's today, I believe that they filmed purple skies over uh, Florida during the Hurricane Michael and then some guy caught it the same night in uh, Ohio I'll post the little short bit underneath in the strange sounds link under this one in this video you can check it out I mean it was like real purple magenta purple so anyway, getting back to the space, geospace, so you see the pressure is equalized. But, and here's another proof of what I'm talking about. The density is really up because we got pressure coming from this side, pressure coming from this side. And so it's backing up in here and you can see it. I mean, that's some serious density particle densities so I mean I, I guess it's just a matter of who's gonna win and when our Sun or nemesis if nemesis wins and it's gonna blow this magneto pause toward the Sun in the opposite direction no question right now it's equalized how long that lasts really couldn't tell you that's just another look this is shows velocity and I never really see anything on here that's very telling these two are then I pulled up ace just to see if there was a gap again and here we got a little gap here around the 1800 hour UTC today which would be around one o'clock uh, up to a little bit past 20th so it's a little bit before 1800 and a little past 20 oh 20 hundred we got a gap so maybe there's another uh, planetary body or a large debris I'd say probably or a moon a moon maybe it's the moon of the big uh, one that passed that was uh, blocking this data stream for an eight hour for eight hours for quite some time there it started out four to five hours maybe about six months ago and then it kept uh, getting larger and larger the gap 
to the point where it got to be eight and it looked like almost nine at some point and then all of a sudden it just disappeared the gap the gap used to start around uh oh, right around midnight then it started to widen out and ended up being like around 2200 to 0600 and then it just disappeared the other day i made a video about it and now here we got another little gap showing up so maybe that's the moon from the big gap i don't know what do you think and then here's discover and this thing's at the same l1 lagrange point 930,000 miles in front of the earth between the earth and the sun in that parked fixed position uh and it's measuring the same stuff solar wind speed temperature density phi angle and the bz bt magnetic readings coming from the sun and we have a gap here as well but this one starts around 22 this one's starting right around where the ace one left off and began recording again around 2200 and it's extending all the way over to you can see the time up here 558 so that's like three and a half hour gap so this thing's i mean obviously they're not like probably side by side holding hands or anything these two satellites so they're in a little bit different spots but they're up there at the l1 point so whether this gap's re reflecting the same gap we're seeing over here on ace which i guess let's see so it's about 1730 to a little past 20 2015 so that's about almost a three hour gap so most likely that's the same object but the satellites are in just different a little bit of a different orbital position so here's what I'm talking about here's the L1 Lagrange point there's the sun there's the earth of course, that's our moon. So this is 930,000 miles in front of the planet, parked stationary position right here between the Earth and the Sun. And it, those ACE and Discover satellites are recording all the data coming from the Sun. So that gap, I mean, the ACE is up here somewhere, and so is the Discover. But like I said, I'm sure they're not side by side holding hands or anything. So we'll put up, punch up this ram thing again. You can see the Himwari side, which shows you the Eastern Pacific, or I guess they call it the Western Pacific. But you got Japan up here and uh, China, Australia, I'm sure you noticed. And then we have our object. There it goes, <laughs> trailing along. And they got it all pixelated out and squared it up. So. It looks like uh, <clears throat> maybe Space Invaders video game now or something. But this morning they hadn't quite perfected that yet. And it looked more like a uh, object that was circular and had some circumference to it. So anyway, that's it. I just wanted to confirm that uh, object on the opposite side of the Earth showing up as it did this morning on our side of the earth or the american side of the earth european side so i guess that's it uh, god bless and uh peace and i'm out